Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. And you can also follow me on Facebook. If you type in on Facebook Nitro Kyosho, you'll come to my community page. Well guys, I apologize. I always do things after the fact. But anyways, uh, today we're way off the beaten path. Today I'm making uh, Nitro Kyosho's famous chicken soup. And uh, well, winter time is around the corner here in New England, guys. And when we get sick, uh, this is one thing that I always seem that I can can manage to get down. And uh, you add your, your noodles in afterwards. And uh, it really helps you through those times when you get sick. So I like to make it at this time of the year in about middle October. And then I put it away, freeze them, and we have them for the winter. Through the long winters here in New England. So... I'm going to actually give you the recipe. Let me take this cover off. Take this. I've got two pots here going, guys. All right. One is for tonight's dinner, and this one is for storage. Okay, and I'm going to give you my recipe. It's very simple. You want to get your pot. You want to fill it up. You know, make sure you leave a couple, three, four inches at the top to compensate for your other ingredients. Cover it get it to a rolling boil okay and then once it's at a rolling boil I like to use a split chicken breast with the bone because I think the bone adds more flavor okay and <coughs> excuse me you put those in after uh, it's a rolling boil and you leave those in for about 30 minutes and then once the 30 minutes rolls around that's when you add I like to add carrots chopped up, celery chopped up, depending on the pot size you use. And this is a big pot, so I use two medium onions, because uh, remember, you're not making onion soup. Uh, so two medium-sized onions. I like to cut them in half, because they cook better that way. All right. And as far as the other stuff I'm using, uh, just basic salt, Italian seasoning, and uh, some black pepper. Now all of these use at your leisure guys but don't add too much salt because you can't take it out but you can always add more to your dish after when you're eating if the person wants more salt or you know. As far as this uh, the same thing and the pepper uh, same thing. I don't measure anything guys I do it by taste. Add some salt uh, you can measure it out with teaspoons, tablespoons, whatever have you. It depends on the size of the pot, guys. So it's not a set recipe. And flavor basically to taste. Stir it in, a little at a time, go back, test it. Okay? Uh, and that's how I like to do it. As far as storage, I like to use these old regat containers. As you can see, i got a whole pile of them here ready to go for storage. And the reason I like using these opposed to Tupperwares is because these, one of these is like perfect for one person to eat. Okay, and then you add your, uh, you know, chopped up spaghetti or thin spaghetti or linguine or noodles or I like to use uh, flat egg noodles. Whatever you want, you know, uh, that's up to you. But I cook those, when I take these out and I defrost these, uh, then I cook the noodles separately, and then I heat these up separately in another pan and then put them together. Because you don't want to cook the noodles now and freeze those in there. That will not work out good. But these are the main ingredients I use. Very basic. Um, like I said, I like to use uh, the split chicken breast with the bone, okay, uh, because I think it adds more flavor. Now, half hour... Roll and boil, you put your chicken in, okay, uh, you let that go for a half an hour, okay, once you got it rolling, the water, it's boiling, and once the chicken's in there for a half an hour, uh, then you're going to add all your other ingredients uh, at the half hour point of the chicken cooking, and then it'll all cook for approximately one hour, the whole thing takes one hour to cook. And what I like to do when I'm done is I take the chicken breasts out, and let the water stay on the stove and then I separate all the chicken off the bone and put the chicken pieces back in and then I just throw the bones out after that. But I leave the bones till the very end because it definitely does add flavor guys. Okay. Let me 
just stir this up a little bit. And now uh, here's the chicken, the breasts. There's three of them in here. Okay, and then there's one in that one there. So basically, a lot of it is, you know, you got to use your head, guys, by the pan size. This is a large pan, so three chicken breasts. This is a smaller pan, so I'm using one big chicken breast. And uh, that's basically it, guys. You know, once you strip the chicken off at the end and put it back in, you let these cool down, and then you freeze them, and then you got hot chicken soup. Uh, to have all winter long. So that's my recipe. That's how I do it, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, flavor. As far as the flavors, you got to add the salt a little bit, stir it in, test it, a little Italian seasoning, uh, and a little pepper. You don't want to put too much pepper because you don't want it hot. Okay, so basically, a little at a time, test it. That's how I do it. I don't work off of really I take a basic recipe and then I kind of work off of it so anyways that's my recipe for hot chicken soup and uh, hope you like it guys try it out we'll talk to you soon thanks for watching